Respect the Foundation of Physical Therapy YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over a walkout to a plank. Um, we know planks are, are very useful. You see people doing planks a lot in the gym or, or elsewhere. Um, so we want to teach you the appropriate way to kind of get into a plank. A lot of times people are doing a plank, um, what may appear is as having a very straight line from your shoulders to your, to your heels. You actually have quite a bit of arch in the lower back. So um, I encourage you to get away from that because you're not really engaging the abdominals when you do that. What you're doing is you're resting on the structures in your spine. So to train yourself to do an appropriate plank, what you do is you start with your toes and pick out a, a line on, on the carpet or the tile or whatever you're working on. And then what you're gonna do is first start by coming down. Now, if you don't have the flexibility to get down to this position, it's completely okay to start out with the knees bent and then walk your hands forward. But eventually, you wanna straighten out those legs and start here, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk these hands out till you get to a push-up position. But what you don't want to see is that the back arch is here, okay? You want a nice flat back, and if anything, if you're gonna miss, miss with the hips a little too high, then if you get to this position, you can do one of two things. You can walk out further, and still don't lose that posture, right? and then work on just walking back. Right? When you walk back, the bonus here is you can get some stretch of the posterior structures. You would hold that, and then walk it back out, okay? Uh, an important note is that when you're walking back, a lot of times people will take very big steps with their hands and they'll, their hips will rock side to side. You don't want to wag your tail like that. What you want to do is keep everything very uniform and keep your hips square to the ground. Now, once you get to the point where you can walk out and hold pretty very well, then what you do is you drop to your elbows and here you are in your plank, but you don't want to see this happen. You need to stay nice and high, then you can come back up. Basically, work this drill until you feel very confident with it, and then work into holding your planks for a sustained period of time. I think a mirror is a great idea in that it's going to show you if you start to sway in your lumbar spine, basically do more harm than good.